What's up everybody, Mike Lazarecki here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on, you guessed it, titles in DaVinci Resolve 16. This is going to be really basic titles, but we'll get into a little bit of animation with it. We'll do some more advanced stuff down the road a little bit, but we're going to start with the basic stuff today. So let's hop over in the computer and get right into it. Okay, so... All right, everybody, we're here in DaVinci Resolve 16. Uh, as you can see, I've got some uh, some just random clips kind of imported that is specifically for this tutorial. So uh, nothing real specific. This is just for example purposes. So follow along if you can. Uh, any clip will do for these titles. We're going to start out with something like this. This is like a little B-roll shot from a wedding video. And we'll drag that guy into our timeline. And we're going to start out by doing the most basic kind of title. And it's going to be the kind that just sort of fades into existence for us. And it's just going to say, you know, wedding day 2020. And it should be super cool that way. So, so over here in our effects library, you can see that we have some different things to choose from. Now, if you don't see this effects library menu here, you can go up here and click on effects library up here. And that'll bring this menu up for you. So... Uh, and you can see third one down here, we have titles. Well, what's nice about this is that these are really nicely built out, pre-baked titles that you can pretty much customize to your liking right out of the gate. So what we can do is we can bring this text guy over into our timeline. It brings in kind of a new clip, resize it. And then what we can do is zoom in a little bit you can do that by holding down alt and scrolling or you can change your zoom with this little slider over here now if we select this guy to do the fade the easiest way are these two little tabbies up here you can just drag them in and do a nice slow fade in and what we want to do you can kind of see where it says title here go up to our inspector change this to say whoop wedding 2020 we can change our color to maybe be sort of an off-white a little darker than the background all right and then we can change our font let's see one that i think might look good for wedding type of stuff i think is this guy here yep so we'll maybe size this up just a little bit and I think we want to change our position just a little bit to kind of center it a little more. Okay, so I know this is super basic, but this gets you started. So it just kind of fades in and fades out. I know that's super simple, but these are actually highly useful specifically in wedding videos because they're simple, they do look nice, and everybody likes them, everybody uses them. So. Uh, you know, nothing wrong with a simple on-screen title. But let's move on to something just a little bit more exciting. So we'll bring this clip in and just kind of take a look here. You can see this is an aerial shot. It is tracking down this beach and uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. So what I want to do with this one is a little bit different. And if you guys watched my, uh, my looping background tutorial, you'll know that you can right click in here and click on new fusion composition and create a new fusion composition so this one we are going to get into fusion we're going to make this 20 seconds long just to be safe and we're going to go ahead and say create and what i want to do is drag this guy onto this timeline and now i want to go into fusion and work on this composition so we have our media out and don't worry if you're not seeing the footage in the background. With titles, I kind of like to try to keep the title itself separate from the background unless we're tracking our title to footage in the background, which we'll do on the next one. So we're going to be creating what I call a knockout text title. And what that is, is we're going to have a solid color background with the text that gets knocked out of that solid color, and you'll be able to see our footage behind that text. We're going to bring in a background node. We're going to change that color to, I'm thinking, something kind of summery yellow. And then we're going to bring in our text. And we're going to connect up those two. And we're going to connect it to our media out. Okay. Now, 
you're not seeing anything here. And I know that can be a little bit nerve wracking. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead in here and we're gonna type something in the text and we'll say summer. Okay, now you can see our yellow color is being translated to the text itself, which is something we can use. If we wanted to just do a colorful text, we could do it this way, but we almost don't need to because if we just use the text node by itself, you can see here, we can change the color of that on its own. So if that's all your goal is, then you don't need this background node. You could just get rid of this guy and connect up your text and you're all set. And you can just change the color of it in there. You see it shows up here. Going back to our Fusion tab, in order to make this more of a knockout, we're gonna bring in our background node and we're just gonna disconnect these two nodes and connect the text node back into our background and connect the background into our media out. And we'll go back and find our yellow color again. And yeah, I think maybe a little bit lighter and I think we're good to go. So once again, we have our text there. It's mimicking the color of the background node. If you left it that way, it would just show up over your footage just like that. But in order to create this knockout style title, we go back into our Fusion tab and we can go into our background node in the settings and say apply mask inverted. And now you can see it has now reversed the way that the color and the text are interacting with one another. In order for us to really see the effects of this, what we want to do is, let's see, let's, let's go ahead and pull the opacity of our yellow color down a little bit. And then let's go into our text node and increase the size of our text a bit. Maybe not quite that much. Oh, let's find, where's my font? My favorite font. Let's see, here we go. Uh, increase that size a little bit more. Okay, cool. So let's go back over into our edit tab and see how this looks. Now, if we click on that guy, you can see that because I reduced the opacity of the background layer, you can see some of that beach coming through that solid color. What's cool is if we go ahead and play this back, you can also see the footage coming through that knocked out text in normal color. So you kind of have the option to do some cool stuff with this. Now, if we want to, we can add some additional animation to this and make it really cool. So if we go back into our Fusion tab, select our text node, and let's just keyframe our text size for right now. So let's go back to the beginning of our clip, click on the little keyframe diamond, and reduce our size to nothing. Let's see, let's go up to about frame 20, give or take. Click our diamond again to put in sort of a base keyframe. Then we're gonna go forward four frames, increase the size of our text all the way up to, in this case, let's go with uh, 0.3. We're gonna go forward four more frames. Reduce the size down a little bit smaller than what we want it to be. Go four more frames forward. And let's get this guy up to 0.26. So yeah, just adding those four keyframes allows us to have this cool animation that shows the summer text just come in and bounce and it looks really kind of slick. So let's go back over to our edit tab and see what that looks like on our footage. Let's go back to the beginning of this clip, press play, boom. Hey, that looks pretty good. I like that. So let's just tidy this up a little bit, maybe reduce how long it takes for that to fade in. We don't need that whole clip. So we can have pow, oh yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So let's move on to the last kind of title we're gonna do today and that is one that is sort of tracked to some footage. All right, so if we bring in our footage, we have this clip of a wedding cake with you know, the bridegroom and their dog on the cake. And we're gonna track the text to our dog, okay? So now we're gonna go into this clip and we're gonna go into the Fusion page with this clip selected, which means we're going to be actually incorporating the physical clip into this particular title. So it's a little bit more complicated, but not too bad. So what we wanna do is have our media in selected, hit Shift and Space, type in Tracker, and add a tracker node. And what we wanna do here is we wanna click and drag this tracker over by our dog, okay? And let's just expand this guy out so it works well enough. And we're gonna go ahead and track this guy all the way through our footage. 
Now we have a successful track, click OK. Now we need to bring in our text, and what we're gonna do is put in, what are you guys doing? Okay, and we have that sitting there. So it's in a white text, that's fine for this part of the tutorial. And we will select Able as our font. And what we need to do now is bring in a transform node. So hit shift space, transform, add that guy in. We wanna go with this. And then we wanna bring our transform node into the tracker node. Now well, you can see it doesn't really do anything yet. So we need to actually go into our tracker and we need to tell our tracker what it's doing. So we're gonna select these settings here. We're gonna go ahead and in this drop down, select match move. And you can see now our text has arrived on screen. So that's nice. And now if we hit play on the playhead, you can see that the text is perfectly tracking the cake, actually the dog, but whatever, the cake. So we wanna make this look a little cooler. Let's go back to the beginning and let's go to our transform and we can move this so that the transform is right over top of the dog's head. So once we move this up here, we can go back to our text node and change the anchor point to the far side. And maybe we need to reduce the size of our text a little bit. And now our text follows the dog's head. So it's almost like what he's thinking. So we can see as we scrub through the clip that the text isn't staying on screen. So something we could do is go up here and between the words you and guys, get rid of that space and hit shift enter to bring that down. And then let's see, we could probably work with some of the anchoring. Yeah, there we go. And just bring this over a little bit. But now we can do a similar animation to what we did with our summertime text. And we can go ahead and reduce the size of this text. We can move forward a little bit in our clip. Maybe uh, frame 70 looks good on our timeline here. Move four frames forward. Raise our text up. Four more frames. Down a little bit. Four more frames and then we can size this to taste. So I'm gonna go with like 0.072. Okay, we'll go into our settings, throw on a little motion blur, just like we did before. And here we go. Yeah, there we go, that looks pretty cool. So if we go back to our edit timeline, we can take a look at how this looks in real time. Boom, the dog's wondering what in the hell are you guys doing? All right, so there you go, guys. Some very basic and practically useful tips to get you started making custom titles in DaVinci Resolve 16. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor and wreck that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing, and I will see you guys next week. Later. Later.